Hey everybody, it's Chief Zero here and E3 has just started on Sunday with Bethesda leading the showcases and uh, just so you guys know, if you want, you can totally pause this video at any time. I'm going to be going a little bit fast because there is a lot to go through here, especially this week. Um, so without further ado, we're going to start this off right now. Alright, so the first game Bethesda threw out at us was Quake Champions. This is a reboot of the classic Quake series games. Uh, it's going to be built from the ground up specifically for eSports and competitive play. Uh, it's going to be unlocked at 120 frames per second. Oh my god, that's like... I can't even fathom that right now. That's crazy. But it's going to be excellent for the competitive players out there. Especially if you're a fan of Doom and the Quake series, this is going to be for you. The next game they're coming out with is the Elder Scrolls Online Legends card game. A strategic game made by Bethesda along the lines of the Elder Scrolls series. While not much has actually been said right now, the, the beta just finished and it's coming out soon so keep an eye out, out for it. Then the next news for Bethesda to come out is for Fallout 4. We have a lot of things going on in here. So if you don't know, the season pass originally was at $30 for 3 DLC packs then they bumped up the price because now they're releasing 3 more packs and they've just been announced. If you haven't been watching the leaks, this is what it's going to be now. So the first one is going to be Workshop. You're going to be able to get a whole bunch of more things like elevators, armor, weapon racks, track kits, sorting machines, conveyor belts, a whole bunch of other stuff for your settlements. It looks pretty awesome and it's going to be sick. And then the next DLC for Fallout 4 is going to be Vault Tech. Here, you can actually build your own vault and experiment on your own dwellers. I don't know exactly how you feel about that because if you read any of the lore surrounding the Fallout 4 Vault Tech shelters, you know that they experimented on them and it turned out pretty horrific. But now, you can do it too as your own overseer. Now the next thing is also going to be Nuka World. This has been going around the internet for quite a while now as leaks have been pouring in about it. Uh, Nuka World is exactly what it sounds. It's going to be a theme park based on the Nuka brand. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You can probably build your own uh, uh, roller coasters, all that kinds of stuff for your uh, for your settlers. It looks pretty cool and looks kind of cheesy, but like the good Fallout 4 kind of cheesy. Oh my god, and so the best news to come out of the Bethesda showcase today was probably none other than the Skyrim remastered for the current gen PS4 and Xbox One with full mod support. Like, are you kidding me? This is going to be awesome. It uh, Mod support just came out for Fallout 4 on consoles. It's been a blast. It, if you haven't tried it, all you have to do is make a Bethesda.net account, sign up, link it to your Fallout 4 uh, game, and then you get to choose your own mods at 2 gig limit it's pretty awesome you can download a whole bunch of mods and now they're coming with full mods on Skyrim that is so awesome if you haven't seen the trailer yet go check it out it's really cool they've remastered all the visuals of it it looks absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to shout out my TV again the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is going to be re-released on October 28th. The remastered version, it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be awesome. And if you're a Steam player with the original game and all of the DLC, you actually get this remaster for free. And if you've also been following the Elder Scrolls Online, the Brotherhood DLC is going to be coming to consoles next week. It's going to be awesome. And this fall, they're also going to be lowering the barrier for levels, level caps. So that means that you're going to be able to travel around all of Tamriel with whatever character you have at any sort of level. So you can travel with whomever you actually want to travel with. There's Everything is going to be scaled down to your own character level. So you have no fear of walking into a dungeon that's going to completely mess you up because you're such a low level. Another game people have been waiting to hear about is Prey 2. Bethesda just re-announced it for the second time here at E3. Uh, it's going to take place in this weird pseudo-reality place where there's going to be multiple versions of you. It looks pretty cool. If you've played the original Prey, you get kind of a sense of what's going to be going on. They've completely revamped the story from the original Prey 2. And Prey 2 is going to be released in 2017, so keep an eye out for that. And for you Doom fans out there, Bethesda just announced that you're going to be getting free updates for the map editor as well as multiplayer packs and also its first premium uh, DLC for, for multiplayer coming out with new modes, new maps, new abilities, everything. And the last game that Bethesda has showed off this year is Dishonored 
2. It's going to be coming out on November 12th with a collector's limited edition of the mask, the ring, and if you also pre-order it during this week, you and for a limited time, you also get the first Dishonored game, the definitive version. So go ahead and check that out. It's a great game. I think you're going to love it, especially if you've already played it, then you know probably Dishonored 2 is going to look sick. As you can see from these screenshots, it looks beautiful as well. Bethesda has also announced that they're going to be going into the world of VR with Doom and Fallout 4, both out in 2017, and it's going to be awesome. And that's it for Bethesda's E3 conference for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think they did an amazing job this year, and I'm so pumped to be able to play Skyrim and Fallout 4 in new ways again. If you like this video, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and twitch.tv all of this stuff will be in the links down below you guys can check that out and check me out and i hope i'll see you guys soon chief out